Hey, welcome to this video lesson for my melodic style banjo arrangement of Sarah Armstrong's tune. Um, this is in the key of D, it's an old fiddle tune. I'll show you an easier version and then a version with more variations, but I'm gonna play through it first, then we can get to talking about it. Okay, it sounds like this. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> quickly about the form of this tune. This is uh, a very common form where it's just A, A, B, B. Uh, a lot of fiddle tunes are this tune. Again, we're in the key of D. And we just use three chords in this. So let's go over the chords that we are going to use. It's the one, four, and five of the key of D. So we have a D, we have a G, and we have an A. Now one thing I'll mention is when I'm playing in the key of D, I often don't like this D chord to this G chord. So um, I tend to go to the next G chord up, the uh, G chord with the F shape, I'll go D here, and then I'll go to this G, which is just, if you know your F, it's two frets higher. Um, I just think that one tends to sound better in the key of D, not always, the open G is also fine. Um, and often what I'll do is because a G chord has this open D in it, so sometimes I'll go from this D to the G that's just this F shape G, but with the open fourth string. So you get this kind of, D with the open fourth string, and then the G with the open fourth string. Okay, because that's a relatively easy change. Your pinky stays down and you just kind of switch your fingers and move up the fret. Anyways, let's talk about the uh, form here. We're going to put the chords up. <clears throat> so uh, the first phrase is that's most of the song actually. So we have it here. Um, then we do the same thing on an A. So A, then D, then A, ba da ba dee ba da. Back to that D part. D, da, D, da, ba ba da ba dee ba da. A chord, da ba da ba da. So that's the A section. It does again. the B section da, 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 ba, da, ba, dum, and the chords for that and the B section is actually kind of simple because it's really only one four bar phrase so really it's almost like we're playing just four times the one four bar phrase so the chords are then it just repeats the B section, so we do another whole B section. And that's the whole tune. So that's our that's our form. So really, <clears throat> there's the B section is only a four bar melody, and the A section has this two bar melody that you play once on D. And then the same melody, just up on A. That's too high for me. Um, then you repeat it. And then a little end. So really, there's only like eight bars of material here that you need to know. And once you have that, um, you've got it. But if you're playing this over and over again, you need a couple different variations to play through it. So let's very first thing, we're just going to go through my easier variation of it. So I'll put the first four bars up. This is with kind of the easier variations. So um, first four bars. Oh, sorry, <laughs> almost forgot. Big disclaimer here. We are in the playing in the key of D and I'm going to play this uh, with no capo and just tune the fifth string up to A. So make sure to tune that fifth string up to A. Okay, all right, let's start. Uh, so first four bars, here we go. A one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm gonna point this out because this comes up again and again in both variations. This shape here. When we do melodic style, we often have this shape and it's almost always, always played middle finger, first finger. So we're gonna see this shape on five and four. We're gonna see this shape on 10 and nine. We're gonna see the shape on uh, 12 and 11. But every single time we always use first and middle finger. So remember that. So again, those first two bars, and I would suggest getting comfortable with these first two bars because we do that a lot. All right. Then we have the same melody on an A. So the way I want you to think about this is we're actually basically playing an A chord here. Um, and it's the same shape we had here with that F, right? F, G, A. So we're only holding two notes, but it's nice to visualize that, yeah, this is just on an A chord. So we've got these two notes here and we go, so third finger comes down to get that one. Now here we have to switch back to this four, uh, five and four shape with the middle and first finger. We slide the shape all the way up to 12 and 11. All right, so I'm just gonna do those two bars one more time. That's there. Let's look at the next uh, four bars here, the second line of the easy version. So the exact same thing we just did. Now we have this little variation which starts again on the A. So we have that little A shape. Now this is what's a little bit weird about this one is I'm getting this A note here with my pinky, but then this next time I'm getting the A note here with the middle finger, or with my thumb. So you really gotta watch what fingers you're getting this with for this specific bar. So again, we have that five and four shape that showed up there, and then we go down to this D. And I think this part's actually the trickiest. And notice here that I'm uh, taking my middle finger from this five and four shape that we got, this second, and I'm moving it down to get that D. So my middle finger just stays there for that shape. So that was the easier version of the A section. So we did it once, I'll play it through again. I'll put the, the lines up as I go. Let's take a look at the B section here. So um, the B section is just this one phrase. So this is a little trickier than the A section, but let's give this a go. So first line here. Now we have an A chord, so we've got to actually hold this whole bar right from the get go. Now. This part is a little bit tough, um, and I have a couple solutions for this, but I want you to really follow what I'm doing here on this G chord. I'm, I've got this A chord here, and I'm just gonna take my middle finger and put it on the third fret here and slide. And I just have a four reverse roll there, so that's relatively easy, but you're coming from this A, oh, sorry, uh, and then you're sliding with that middle finger. Now, the middle finger's there, so we're gonna keep our middle finger here, and at the end of this bar, we're doing a slide with the middle finger, and then we're gonna get this F sharp with our third finger, or fourth finger if you wanted, and then we pinch a D. And that's it, that's the whole B section, so you just do that four times. So let's do it a second time. B section twice. So that's it. That's the whole tune. Now uh, let's look at the variations that I have. So I'm going to show you the, the harder part of this. So going all the way back to the A section. So the first line I think is identical to the A. Now we have the second line. I have another variation for these first two bars. And this is a little bit harder, but let's give it a go. Now a couple things I'll, I'll, I'll uh, inform you about here because this, this can be weird if you've never done this before. So we do this forward roll at the end of um, 
the first bar there, and we're ending that bar with our thumb, so we have to get this note with our index finger. That first uh, beat of the second bar is index finger. And another thing that's confusing about this bar is the first slide is quite quick, and the second slide is slower. So I know that's something that's kind of tricky for uh, some students I've showed this to this week, is that uh, the first slide is quick, slow. right? Okay. Now uh, this next bar is same as the first one. Uh, so that's that first variation there. It was only one that two bar section. So let's take a look at the third line here. So this is where more variations come in. So the first two bars are the same. But if you wanted to, you could actually take the, the last uh, variation we had. The, you could put that there just as easily. It's totally fine. Okay, now here's where we get something a little bit trickier. So this is just a forward roll that we're doing here. We end with our thumb and then we do the run here. So uh, this bar is a little bit um, tougher than the first variation, but once you have it, it's not too tough. Just remember we have this shape with the first and pinky, and then we're switching really quickly to this middle and first. Okay, uh, the last four lines of that A section, same. Now this is a cool run up. We have then putting the third finger down, then up to nine and 10, and then straight down to five and four. So let me play those last two bars. Now, let's take a look at the B section. The very first bar has a little bit of a variation on it. I'm just doing um, a double stop rather than the first two notes. And it just sounds like this. This is all the same. Next line, four lines. Here I'm adding a hammer on. note and the reason I leave out that last note is I want to do a different approach to this G chord so I just get this and now here instead of sliding to this B note with my middle finger I'm gonna do a hammer on A to B with a double stop and now that we're on this B with our third finger instead of our middle finger we're gonna have a different way of getting back so instead of doing the slide down we're gonna do a pull off here So that's it there. So I ended with a pinch on a D chord and you can totally do that. Um, but uh, let me do this line one more time. And you could pinch the D chord here, but I have this little uh, triplet pickup to go into our next variation. So it sounds like this. We're gonna slide up here to seven with the third finger and the middle finger is here on six and we get this little run up into the next uh, uh, the next line. Here goes the next line. Now that bar is just, that first bar in this line is just a little bit different, and I think the rest is identical. So it just, just because we had to hit this first note with our middle finger, we've changed it a little bit. Same. Middle finger slide. Middle finger back. We do this uh, triplet run up. With the third finger this time, and then third finger pull off. Ending on that D chord. Okay, so um, this is kind of a nice melodic style banjo arrangement. I really like it. You don't often get ones in the key of D with that uh, fifth string tuned up to A. It's, it can be a little bit weird if you've only played melodic stuff in the key of G. Um, but uh, it's a nice one to start, and I definitely advise playing the first easier version a couple times and then trying to add in those variations. And you don't have to add in all the variations right at once. You could just take the easy version and then pick one or two of the variations you like, add them in as you go. Um, that said, I'm going to play through at a slow tempo the uh, trickier version that I've written out, and that'll be the end of this lesson. So good luck with everything. Till next time. Or, well, I'm playing the song. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four.
All right. Now, good luck. Till next time. Bye.